you will probably agree with me that 2023 has been a difficult year for most Kenyans. The cost of living has been going up due to the rise of basic products like fuel and electricity. We are getting less money for salaried people because of statutory deductions. And there are more people who are unemployed because businesses are shutting down because there is less money operating in the economy. However, despite the difficulty, there are certain money lessons that we have learned in 2023 that could be critical in laying the stage for a good year in 2024 and in the years to come. Here are five money lessons that Kenyans have learned in 2023. Number one is an emergency fund is critical. An emergency fund is money that you keep aside for use in a rainy day like when you have lost your job or your salary has been delayed or you need some money to support a sick relative. Typically, an emergency fund should be able to sustain you for about three to six months of your living expenses. So if your living expenses are about uh, 20,000 in a month, you need at least 60,000 to about 120,000 so that in case of a disruption in your income, you can live on the emergency fund as you get your foot uh, back. Number two is where you keep your money matters a lot. And in this, uh, the, I'll go back to the example I gave of the emergency fund. If you had the money in cash or you kept it in a current account and you had it, you had saved it in January, Today, the value of that money will have gone down significantly. However, if you had kept it in a fund where the money is growing or getting some interest, you would have preserved the value of that money. Number three, to build wealth, you start by paying yourself first. You see, there are many Kenyans who are complaining that the living expenses are going high, but if you are able to, the priority is always to start by paying yourself first by saving so that you then spend what is left after you have saved and you do not spend and then look for money to save. So in this sense, there are more opportunities for people to grow their wealth when they have savings in the first place. You, you cannot invest before you have saved. So prioritizing savings has become more critical, especially as the cost of living is going high. These savings can become critical when you want to invest or you need some money to help you pass through a difficult time like a job loss. Number four, the power of compound interest cannot be underestimated. Compound interest refers to your interest earning money. So this is why you start by saving and then the savings also work for you in the sense that you are earning more from your investment more than just the interest. Number five, liquidity is critical, especially now in these days where you do not want to keep your money in an illiquid investment or in a platform where it's illiquid because you can need it either for an opportunity for an investment or when you are in need. So for example, you have been saving to buy a plot of land for 400,000 and uh, you find along the way you have 300 and there's a discounted deal for the same plot of land that you wanted going for 300 because uh, people are disposing of their assets because there is less movement of money and you decide you want the 300 one. In such a case you do not want a partner who will penalize you to get the, back the money that you had saved with them. So for example the APSA digital savings account uh, offers you instant access to your deposit in the, in the event of an emergency without penalizing you and at the same time it offers the highest interest rate among commercial banks in Kenya at 9% per annum. This interest accrues daily and it's compounded at the end of every month, meaning you earn interest on the interest that has been earned on a daily basis for a period of 30 days. The APSA digital savings account can also work as an emergency fund. When you're growing your, your emergency fund, you can set up a standing order so that some of the savings are deposited at source you do not have to actively think about growing your emergency fund. You can also use it for gold-based savings. So for example, you are saving 100,000, you can decide instead of keeping the 100,000 in the current account, you can do 10,000 over a period of 10 months. And at the end of the 10 months, you get the money plus interest and you can put it towards achieving your financial goal. Money254.co.ke has written in detail about the APSA digital savings account, including some of the use cases in detail. Click on the link to learn more.